these are a couple of things and it, ma it makes sense that you guys are asking because either you haven't been part of um, other, uh, like the Dream College Academy that I run where, where I, I give different modules and show you how to do what I call speed dating. So I'm gonna show you um, a couple of tricks that I use um, on speed dating and um, I call it speed dating. And then also if you wanna talk about uh, find, how to find a major. But the short and the long of it is, uh, as you can probably tell, one of the biggest values that I have in my life is time management. And uh, it's something I learned in high school, actually, by being the commissioner of assemblies in our lives. We had to, at a public school, you had to account for every single minute that you were not in class. So it was my job to make sure that nothing ran over time. So I'm very much a minute-to-minute -minute schedule. What does it have to do with college admissions? This. You could spend hours researching different colleges and still feel like you don't know where to go or what to, where to apply. So I often say, if you're gonna spend 50 hours doing anything, 50 hours saving the world and beefing up your resume, not going to dinner with colleges that you're at the end of the day not gonna to apply to. So we start small. So the first step is doing what we call a speed date. Spend no more than five to eight minutes. Again, set the timer. And you go to a website so start for casting your net pretty wide, let's say 20 schools, and you're looking for, you want to write this down, uh, mission, vision, and values. That's what I'm looking for. I have found with working with students and families forever, for a long time now, that you're typically looking for colleges that fit your own morals and values, how you were raised and what you value in your home. Some families value education, some, value, some families value you know, tra traveling abroad, some families value integrity, family, whatever your values are. Some, of course, you know, not one value, but you're li typically looking for a school that matches and aligns with your values. Just like looking for a life partner. So that being said, I think it's pretty easy to find. I have these um, three schools that I, I do pretty, because they're, um, they're quick, to show you. So here, I'm at Cornell, and right here, I love that it's, first of all, it's right away, it's mission and vision. It's very easy to find, it's not always easy to find. And very quickly, if I go down here, I see the words learning, discovery, engagement. Okay, those words might appeal to you, they might not, I don't know. And you scroll down, I'm like, oh, that's, that's a beautiful campus, and it gives you the vision. So the mission statement, just so you know, is where, what a school was founded on and will probably just doesn't change very often. The vision statement is where a college sees themselves going within the next three to five years. It typically changes when there is a new president of the institution. Where do they see themselves now and in, and in the short future? And then their core values. So you could click here and go learn more and you would take it to the values. And then again, five to eight minutes, sort of just go where it goes uh, and, and see very quickly if you think, yeah, I kind of like this. Um, here is Santa Clara. So this is um, a Jesuit Catholic institution. So very different. So you come here and if I go to their mission, vision, values, I'm gonna learn a lot and I like their values. So let me scroll down, these are their values. So for some people, it says community and diversity, right? They have this as part of their values, the Jesuit distinctiveness. If, if Catholicity is not important to you or you don't value it as much or, or whatever, this doesn't speak to you, you might go, huh. Now I will tell you, I've gone to the Notre Dame, Notre Dame University I love uh, and I think highly of, I have a lot of respect for it. Um, but when I go to their website, I feel like I fumble around, no pun intended. Uh, and I don't, I'm not attracted to it as much as I would think I would be. So I don't know what that says about the website or whatnot, but you know, sometimes looks are deceiving, right? Don't judge a book by its cover, but you're gonna quickly learn if this is in alignment with you. UNLV, I use as an example for a lot of reasons. UNLV is one of those schools that I, feels to me when I hear about it and learn about it. Um, so they're different. 
daring, diverse. Those three words speak to me and I think would have spoken to me as a teenager. Um, UNLV seems, feels to me like where USC was 30 years ago. On the rise, trying to make their mark. And I get that feeling because I've done my homework. And when I come here, I go to their vision and mission. I go read more. And it clearly states by 2025, not far, far from now, UNLV will be recognized as a top tier public research, uh, public university in research, education, and community impact. And then you can read more. Uh, it just feels everything I know about UNLV. So anyway, obviously I'm skewed in showing you ones that sort of appeal to me, but you do you, you do your research and see in five to six minutes, eight minutes, uh, what feels right. So you're, you're narrowing your list as you go through this, right? Here's um, another um, one. I mean, honestly, who doesn't look at this picture and go, yeah, I want to go to school there. Hello. Um, this is a website that you're just like, I don't even know why I went here and I'm just dreaming already. Like who doesn't want to go here? But nevertheless, I wanted to show you. Um, I love, so this is demonstrated interest. It's all, all the same, right? You need to do homework. So I'm giving you a couple of ways to do that homework. I think UCSB does have a mission, vision and mission somewhere as well. Uh, okay, this is about, remember I talk about personality coming through. Um, this is a good example. Saying 72 and sunny is no joke around here. It's a way of life at UC Santa Barbara. It's not just the dreamy weather. Uh, when we talk about ideal environment, we mean our intellectual and cultural atmosphere as much as we do our beachside location. This is so, like, you feel like this school has its own personality. Like, you're like, oh, that's not like UC Merced or UCLA. It's totally different. So this is an example of, of speaking in their personality. This is the kind of school they are. So take note of that. Um, here are different things that you can do. Campus tours, virtual tour webinars. If I remember correctly. I feel like I liked this. Right now, since everything is online, um, again, time for me is very important. So, I think they offer, I won't go into it here, where is I think they offer like 30 minute panels, which I really loved because I think 30 minutes is like a lunch date. Like, okay, I did a coffee date. I like you enough. Now it's a lunch date. So I think some of them are, are 30 minutes. Again, I won't go into it here right now, but you can do your homework and see it. Okay, why did I want to show you this one? Give me what I want to show you. Okay, no worries. I wanted to show you Chapman because I wanted to give you an example of where to find. Remember this morning we talked about demonstrated interest in finding your regional representative and reaching out to them specifically. This is very key, ladies. Um, so if you go here, if you are, no, I don't want to talk to you. Um, you go here. Right here, I love it. It's super easy. It says meet your counselor. So you click here, so click again, oh. so you go here, here's Garrett, it tells you right here, see, out of state, Alaska, Idaho, Montana, Oregon, Washington. So you just find your region or your state and that's who you're going to email. Do a direct email and always ask a question. End with a question uh, so that they, so you can elicit a response. Even if it's, I really want to learn about your new, um, they just built a new, um, I'm forgetting the name of the, their STEM building, brand new, poured money into it. I want to learn more about blah, 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 your hallway that has the you know, hallway full of female scientists. Can you direct me to the director of, chemistry or whatever you want to say. Ask a question 
to engage and start a relationship. Okay. Um, so that's what I'll say about that. So the, finally, the thing I want to share with you in case you don't know, this is one of my favorite tools. I like College Board. It's been a long, I know they're the testing, but it's been around for a long time. So their website is very robust. So when I know, so Francesca, what do you want to major in, sweetheart? Uh, I want to do business. Business? Okay. So I happen to know that, do you have a school in mind? Yeah, University of Florida. Okay. So I'm Francesca, and I know that um, University of Florida has business. But let's say I'm like, oh, you know, I'm not sure if I can get into Florida or the reverse, or I want colleges that are more competitive than Florida. So how can I find other colleges that have the major I'm looking for? So I click on majors. I'm recording this, so I can send you the link. And I click on all majors. And Francesca's gonna look down here and say, here are all the business uh, programs. Pick one, Francesca, please. Um, we'll do accounting. Accounting, so she's gonna click on accounting. The first thing she has to do is say, do they offer a bachelor's program in accounting? If the check mark is here, great. If it's not, you cannot do entrepreneurial studies at University of Florida because it doesn't have a bachelor's program. Get it? Okay. But she picked one that does. We're going to click on accounting. This is my favorite page because if I read here, Cheska, for time's sake, I'm going to read for you. Uh, are you ready to learn to prepare tax filings, study tax law, create and analyze balance sheets? Okay, I'm already getting the heebie-jeebies. I do not want to do this major, but Francesca may want to, okay? So uh, I'm like, ah! So I get here and I go, I'm not sure that's really what I wanted, but kind of. So down here it says related majors. Francesca can click on one of these and go, Maybe this one is more what I want it to so click on here. It'll take her to this page and so on and so forth. So this can take you down a rabbit hole, but you want to really figure out what you want to major in. This also will help you figure out how to answer the question, why this major? Did you just hear what I just said? I just gave you a big tip here. This page is going to help you answer why this major, okay? So you want to figure that out. Now I can click here at the top. It says, which colleges offer a major in accounting? I click here, find out now. And boom, bada bing, bada boom. <laughs> oh my word, Francesca, that's too many schools. 1800, so we go to type of school. We say we want a four year. I'm just gonna you pick some things. We want a medium size. Um, and that, down to 529, we go to location, we say that we want New England and, um, what is Maryland considered? Mid-Atlantic? I guess. I don't really even know. Is that Mid-Atlantic? I'm not even sure. Mid-Atlantic. We'll go with that. Okay. So we do that. Now we're down to 155 schools. And if I click here, print results, which I prefer to do, just so I can see the list very clearly. This is something that I would actually print out. 155, 100 or less, somewhere around there, is enough for you to print and then just highlight. You wanna highlight like 50 schools. Maybe not, you guys are already seniors, so maybe not that many, but that's where you would say, okay, where are 30 schools 50 would be a lot, I guess, at this point. If you were younger, we'd do 50 schools. And then how you get those 30 and do your five-minute dates and then narrow it down to 20 and then narrow it down again. Okay? That's really all. I mean, it's not a huge lesson, but there's a, there's, you have to believe, you have to understand this is a job. It's a part-time job, and you've got to do your homework. And I think to be efficient with your minutes is the best thing I can teach you how to do. Good. Yuzma? So you were explaining to us like the first round of it, I guess it was kind of like speed dating. You said like look at each 
uh, college's website for five to eight minutes to look for the mission value and vision but like afterwards how much deeper should we go in when we're like okay well these colleges stood out to me with their values now when you find a smarter smaller list like what like how deep should you go in and what should you look for so that's when you um so um i probably should have started with the, the last thing i did which is finding the major and kind of narrowing it down and then go these are the 30 schools i'm going to do the five minute dates and then you make, I would say you should make an A list and a B list and maybe a C list, right? Because you, 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 the next step truly is to match up the schools based on your AQs. Remember, your list is determined on your AQs, where you should appropriately be applying to. So there's a number of things that you need to do to make sure that you've got your reach, your 50-50s, your you know, target likely, most likely you know, schools on there. So you have to be realistic, and the truth is uh, that has to play a role at some point. So from that list of 30 that you go A list, B list, C list, then you need to uh, establish your list of between 8 and 12 schools that you think these are where I'm going to apply to. But I would say that you probably want to go on lunch and dinner dates with probably about 15 to 18 schools. That's where you really get to, to feel like, okay, this is definitely what I want. Thank you. I just have one more quick question um, for like the supplemental essays. I pretty much have like my list of schools that I want already. Am I going to be able to like, I have the questions in front of me and everything. Am I going to be able to like finalize those and finish them by the end of the camp? Like are those? Yeah. So I think you have Betsy, right? Am I right? Mm -hmm. So um, what you're going to do is keep going with the process we have, I would say definitely through tomorrow. Um, but you, you have them in the back of your head, you know, like, okay, this is, these are the ones I want to answer. So hopefully you're, you know, you're steering your way. For example, if you don't think you, this is probably not true, but if you don't think you need a coolness factor essay question, that, but you need to, what am I good at? Like you need to, you know, just make the adjustment. And then, um, moving forward on Thursday, Friday, we help you understand how you're going to like tweak them at the front, at the top of your essay, or at the bottom of your essay to answer the prompts. Okay. Thank you. I think that was it. Okay, ladies. I'm going to stop record. We're going to hop back over and close out for today. Uh, was that helpful? Okay. Yeah. Okay. There's so much to know in this process. Okay. You just chipping away. Chip, chip,